Hi folks, Puffin here with your NTF News Briefer for March 30th, 2022, about Ginny Thomas, who was Clarence Thomas's wife and a key Trump surrectionist traitor Trump boutonier. Um, I didn't even know Clarence Thomas had a wife, and now she's a famous traitor. Um, she was a key figure in organizing the January 6th rally, Trump Surrection participants. Apparently the groups had some infighting and she was key in moderating that infighting so they could all get together to try to overthrow our country and democracy. And apparently was constantly blowing up Mark Meadows' phone and other people she was associated with in Trump's regime, making sure they were doing what Putin would want. So all this means that Clarence Thomas should, by any ethical standard in all views of all judges they talk to, uh, recuse himself from any cases involving Trump, J6, Trump's direction, any of that stuff, which there are probably a number of them coming up to the Supreme Court. Um, really, there should probably be some other way of removing a Supreme Court justice when you find out they've been compromised by a foreign enemy, such as Putin. But I mean, that's the case for Trump, too. There should be a way of removing Trump from his liberty, since he is Putin's puppet, as President Joe Biden called him to his face and in front of millions of Americans. So when are we going to start acting like that? Well, we'll see. The report, thanks to Joe Becker of um, New York Times, the Daily program was playing it today on NPR. The way she concluded the report is that we're due for either a dramatic scene of um, Jenny Thomas testifying before the House J6 Commission, or we're in for the dramatic scene of her refusing to testify. I think one outcome they should mention is it'll be dramatic to put the wife of a Supreme Court justice in jail. Now, why do we think that can't happen in the same way we think Trump can't go to jail? People are convinced Trump can't go to jail because of his power or prestige. Well, that's not really the system we designed. So, we need to fix the system so that it works as intended and designed, and a test of that will be whether or not we can get Jenny uh, Thomas in jail. Again, didn't even know she existed, but now I know she needs to be in jail. And uh, Donald Trump in jail, and all Trump boutonnieres, no matter what position, privilege, power they currently enjoy, they should be hammering bricks and license plates. Um, thanks for watching and sharing. See you soon. And yeah, let's make sure that at least Clarence Thomas recuses himself from these cases, but also that everyone involved in this coup attempt and working for Putin to overthrow America is instead themselves thrown into jail. Thanks for watching and sharing. It's easy.